Good morning to all our engineers. Welcome back to Hospitality Engineering. Today we continue with BMS IoT Actuators Module 3 and Part 3. We start with the actuator definition here. An actuator is a device that produces a motion by converting energy and signals going into the system. The motion it produces can be either rotary or linear. In short it's hardware devices that convert a controller command signal into a change in a physical parameter. The change is usually mechanical, for example position or velocity. An actuator is also a transducer because it changes one type of physical quantity into some alternative form. An actuator is usually activated by a low-level command signal, so an amplifier may be required to provide sufficient power to drive the actuator. Actuators are devices used to produce action or motion. Input, mainly electrical signal, air, fluids. The electrical signal can be low power or high power. Actuator's output can be position or rate, for example, linear displacement or velocity. Actuation can be from a few microns to a few meters. Let's see here actuator function diagram explanation. Please refer to the below diagram in this diagram control signal as input goes to power amplification and modulation where unmodulated energy sources merge together after the energy conversion forms as output. How do you select the right actuators for projects? Step 1. Determine the amount of force required. Step 2. Determine the distance the actuator needs to move. Step 3. Determine the speed required. Step 4. Based on your project choose a type of actuator. With this, the actuator's design goals are listed below. 1. Simple. 2. Large range of force or displacement or fine motor. 3. Control. For fast response times. 5. Lightweight. 6. Low Energy Input Aspects What are the types of actuators? Actuator types also vary depending on motions, power configurations, styles and sizes depending on the application. Mechanical Actuator Hydraulic Actuator Pneumatic Actuator Electromagnetic Actuator EAP Actuator EM Actuator Linear actuator, solenoid, hydraulic or pneumatic. Rotary actuator, motor, hydraulic or pneumatic. We discuss here the mechanical actuators. Mechanical actuators create movement by converting one kind of motion, such as rotary motion, into another kind, such as linear motion. Say, for instance, a rack and a pinion. Another example is that of a chain block hoisting weight where the mechanical motion of the chain is used to lift a load. The functioning of mechanical actuators relies on the combinations of their structural components, such as gears and rails, or pulleys and chains. High reliability, simplicity of utilization, easier maintenance and greater precision of positioning are some of the advantages. They can be categorized into hydraulic, pneumatic and electric actuators. We discuss here hydraulic actuator. Hydraulic actuators have a cylinder or fluid motor that uses hydraulic power to generate mechanical motion, which in turn leads to linear, rotatory or oscillatory motion. An example of a hydraulic actuator is The pump driven by a prime mover, electric motor, creates a flow of fluid. Hydraulic actuators application are listed below. Hydraulic jack Hydraulic brake Hydraulic ram Used as a sensor. Close loop velocity controlling. Highly precise positioning for heavy loads. What is a pneumatic actuator? Pneumatic actuators convert energy in the form of compressed air into mechanical motion. Here pressurized gas or compressed air enters a chamber thus building up the pressure inside. Once this pressure goes above the required pressure levels in contrast to the atmospheric pressure outside the chamber, it makes the piston or gear move kinetically in a controlled manner, thus leading to a straight or circular mechanical motion. Examples of maker projects using pneumatic actuators include lifting devices and humanoid robots with arms and limbs, 
typically used for lifting. Pneumatic actuator applications are listed below. Hydraulic jack. Hydraulic brake. Hydraulic ram. Used as a sensor. Close loop velocity controlling. Highly precise positioning for heavy load. What is a piezoelectric actuator? Piezoelectric actuators, transducers, are precision ceramic actuators which convert electrical energy directly into linear motion with high speed, force and virtually unlimited resolution. What is electromagnetic actuator? Electromagnetic actuators, also called power transducers, are electrical devices that transform input energy, control variable, to output mechanical work, acting variable. A special type of actuator is the electromagnetic actuator. Electromagnetic force F equals I asterisk DL times B. F is the electromagnetic force on a moving charge. I is the current magnitude and DL is the direction of the current. B is the magnetic field. We discuss here EAP actuators. Electroactive polymers, EAP, are actuators that most closely emulate biological muscles compared to any other actuators that are human-made. Therefore they earned the moniker artificial muscles. The materials that were developed in the early days of this field generated limited actuation strain and therefore received relatively little attention. What are the other types of actuators? Heaters, used with temperature sensors and temperature controller. To control the temperature in automated molding equipment. And in soldering operation. Lights Lights are used on almost all machines to indicate the machine. State and provide feedback to the operator. LED LCDs Gas plasma display CRT Sirens or horns Sirens or horns can be useful for unattended or Dangerous machines make conditions well known. I am sure you learn types of actuators which helps to understand this course in the coming lesson. Hope you all subscribe to our hospitality engineering channel which is meant for the development of our young engineers as well as new engineering students. Sharing is caring don't hesitate to share with your team and engineering students. Thanks for watching. See you soon, stay tuned with us.